Hello and welcome. And today I'm going to be asking quite a key question when it comes to keeping your koi fish. And that is, can you keep koi fish in an aquarium? Now, there's no real one good answer to this question, in my opinion, because it's really yes and no. Now the answer being yes or no really comes down to three main factors. The size of the koi fish you're going to be placing into the tank, the size of the tank you're using, and the filtration on said tank. Now, these three factors have quite a big crucial role in deciding if you can place the koi in the tank, and I'll go over why that is in this video. Now, the first and most important factor is the size of the fish you plan to place into the tank. Now, for me personally, I don't recommend you place a fish any larger than 20 centimeters into a tank. Now, for me personally, I only place fish that are a year old into a tank, mainly fry in my personal opinion. This is because any fish larger than fry or tosai really have no benefit from being in a tank. Now, of course, there are rare exceptions where you may have quite a large fish tank. And in those cases, then yes, that is okay to put some larger koi fish in there. But for your average size fish tank, I really recommend you only put baby fish into the tank. Now, the main reason for that is simply space. Fish need a lot of space to swim around and graze. And koi fry like these will be fine in a koi tank because, you know, for them, it's still quite a large area. And the other benefit of having a koi tank is the warmth compared to a pond, because in an aquarium, you can use a thermometer and use a heater to heat the water. However, for larger koi fish, space is a massive issue in a tank. If you have a tank that is of, say, 100 gallons, you really cannot be placing koi fish that are 20 centimeters into this tank. Now, yes, they can live in that and they look okay space-wise, but they will struggle with growing. And that is simply because fish tend to grow to the space they're in and that is kind of subjective to be completely honest that is not completely true but if you have a 20 centimeter fish and you place it into a 100 gallon tank you'll just see a lot less growth in the fish and it can lead to sort of deformities and stunting in the fish's spine compared to if you placed it in a larger pond now if you do have some absolutely huge tank i'm talking like 200 gallons 400 gallons which some i know some people do have then yes, you can place koi of larger sizes in the tank. Now, for me, as a general rule of thumb, I really don't place fish in tanks anyway of that size, just because I think it's cruel on the fish. I think they much prefer a pond. It's just big, large, plenty of stuff for them to do. But if you do have a large tank like that, then feel free to place the koi in the tank. They'll enjoy the warm water and such. But really, just make sure the fish have enough space and do keep in mind that they do need a pond eventually for once they get old enough and they do get large enough. Koi can grow well over 50 centimetres and it's very hard to find a fish tank that can hold fish of that size. Now for me personally, I only use koi tanks for growing on fry. As you can see here, the fish I have in this tank currently are at the very limit of what I'd place in a tank. I'm actually moving them out this week because they've just about reached a size where they're too big for the tank. But really it's up to you and depends on how big your tank is. My one here is about 100 gallons maybe more, I'm not 100% sure. But it's really subjective to your personal opinion. For me personally, I'd only put young fish in the tank. Now, once you've chosen the size of the fish you'd like to place in, the next thing is to choose the size of the tank you're going to be using. This is quite a key factor, as you know, space is really crucial for koi fish. Now, like I said, if you have koi fry, then you don't need as much space. I'd say 100 gallon, maybe 200 gallon is completely fine. Depends on the amount of fry you have. If you've got a few thousand, then probably not. But if you've got a few hundred, then I think it'll be completely fine. I think a decent sized uh, tank like that, about 100 gallons, is perfect for growing on fry because of the warm environment in the water. You know, as I found quite crucially that, you know, I can grow fry a lot quicker, especially through the winter months, obviously being here in the UK where the winter gets, you know, minus temperatures. If you place your fry in the tank over winter, those fry that you have in that warmer water just show much better growth but tank size is really crucial. Now, I say anything above 100 gallons is usually good. Um, I wouldn't go below that unless they are really, really small, say one day, two day old fry. So I'd recommend 100 gallons for any fish of, you know, starting size, just from a, for a basis, really. Now, upwards of that, I'd say 200 gallon, you could put some, maybe some tosai in there. And then I'd say 400 gallon plus, you can look to put some knee side and some larger koi in there, but I really wouldn't leave them in there for too long. I, I'd say a few months at max. I, if you want to use it as a holding tank, that's completely fine. If you're trying to like quarantine fish, that's completely fine. 
but for a fish's whole life it just no tank is really big enough unless you have some absolutely massive fish tank and even then just the space and the size of a fish tank can be quite hard for a koi fish because they're used to quite nice bottoms and having good banks on the side and the quite abrupt angles in a fish tank can be hard for a koi fish growing up because they can sort of hit themselves on the side of the tank and brush themselves now i have had some people say that having plants in tanks with koi fish doesn't really work because they eat them and now that is subjectively true um my sort of certain plants here have been eaten but as you can see these reeds here are probably the only plant i'd say you can have with the koi fish now that's just due to their sort of brittle nature the, the koi really cannot chew them apart once they're matured there's not a lot the koi can do to them now i did have a more bushy stem plant in here and they did completely tear out from the roots so do keep that in mind if you have stem plants in your tank they will just tear it up so by general rule of thumb, if you're going to have a koi tank, try to keep plants out of it. And if you are going to use plants, use something that's strong and firmly rooted in. In terms of food, you can feed them whatever you like. I'm giving them a flake here. And I do also feed them a fry crumb that's from Cutterbuck Koi Farm that they're currently eating quite a bit. Just to fatten them up really. Now, as you can see, they're very friendly in a fish tank. If you have quite a large number, you tend to find that they'll come up to the surface and, you know, nip at your finger and such. And they do quite well in here. Um... One of the things you might question is, are they okay being in with actual other aquarium fish? Now, yes, that is completely fine, but I wouldn't leave them in there for too long. Do bear in mind that I only keep my koi fish in here over the winter, and that's literally it. In the summer, they come straight back out, and I don't keep them in there for too long. So if they get too big, you find they do harass your other fish in the tank. But I personally find no issues. I mean, I have got angelfish here that are known to be quite aggressive and have no issues with them attacking them or assaulting them in any way. Uh, and this is quite simply because koi fish are quite hardy and therefore really have no issue with being attacked by the fish in the aquarium. Now the final thing to take in consideration is the filtration. Now I use this external filter here, this little canister, and I find that it's very effective for filtrating the tank. I've had no issues with the koi and the waste they produce because koi do produce a lot more waste than your average aquarium fish. But this canister filter here really just does a great job. I do recommend you use an external canister filter just for ease of cleaning. On the back filters tend to have a little bit more issue with keeping up with the waste that the koi produce. Also, I always recommend you get an aerator in the tank. Koi need a lot of oxygen, especially in warmer water, like 23 degrees that I keep my koi fish out in this tank. So I always recommend you have a nice large aeration on the back of the tank just to make sure the fish are getting plenty of oxygen in the warmer water. But if you can sort of meet the parameters, always do water changes. I do one once a week, uh, about 50%. And I clean my filter about once a month, depending on sort of the health of the fish. As you can see here, they, they do enjoy the, having the sand at the bottom. Um, they start to sieve through, which is a bit more natural for them, really. You know, in the wild, they would really do this. And you can't do this in the pond because obviously lying at the bottom and such. But just to summarize what I've been saying, really, I personally wouldn't keep any fish that are of a larger size in a tank. It really depends how big your tank is. I recommend if you want to use a tank, the best thing to use it for is to grow on newly hatched fry. That's what I'll be doing this year. I have quite a few Sankei Koi fry that I'm looking to hatch. And all these fry here you see in front of you were grown to about two inches inside the tank. And I've had no health issues with them. They did really well over the winter. So as long as your tank is large enough the filtration is enough and the fish aren't too big you should really have no issues anyway that's it for today's video guys i hope you did enjoy and thank you for watching